So before I go any further, I wanted to get a little bit better handle on where some of these survey markers are on properties compared to what you can get on a handheld GPS. So I thought I'd take my own situation at the house here and uh, do an overlay of the actual plat that I have for our neighborhood. And that should identify where the survey pins are for uh, my property. And then I'll use my GPS to go out and try to actually find them. I do have a metal detector. And in theory, I should be able to pretty get pretty close to finding where these pins are. So what I did is I went on Google Earth. I found uh, my neighborhood. And then you can go up to uh, View. And there's a... Uh, reset tilt that'll give you a nice top-down view of your area and then uh, I was able to get my plat for the neighborhood which I show you here <clears throat> so this is the exact plat for our neighborhood when it was developed this is my property here number seven uh, number 16 and these uh, round spots here are where they have survey pins uh, pounded into the ground. Now in the past I've tried to find this spot up here and have not been able to find it. It was mainly because there is no pin on every single intersection. There was a pin here. There's obviously a pin on the other side of my neighbors and then maybe there would was an old stake or maybe nothing at all placed there. So what you can do is import using the overlay function up here you can import a uh, overlay like this and then you work to uh, I'll show you here you can reduce the opacity of it you probably can't see all the pop-ups that I got going on here but that's how you you can adjust with these green bars here and this uh, diamond shape here you can rotate your overlay around to get it properly centered the main thing I was doing was finding this line down the center of the roads and the center point of the cul-de-sacs as my main method of getting the overlay to be as precise as possible Clearly the roads or they what they plat these out, they actually you know encroach on a, a, maybe 10 feet within each uh, plot for easements. And so you really you can't line up these dark lines with your curbs. You have to the best thing to do is you run the, the center line down the center of your your road itself and that should be, and when I did that, it did seem to be pretty easy to get it pretty close. So what that says is now I can actually go and with the overlay lightly uh, shaded, I can go in and place pins at each of these points. So I've already done that. Let me just... Uh, bring on the first point I did. Let me just zoom in a little bit more here. And again, you can zoom in and then you can you can do the view, reset, tilt, bring it up nice and straight. You, you might have to do that a few times. But I did a, a west pin pinned to this pin right here. I did an east pin for this pin right here. And again, you go up to this point right here and just place those those reference points the north pin up here and then what I call a north stake which would be maybe a, a wooden stake that you would put in the ground I might do that or put a metal one up there in myself it's deep in the woods here but I've always wanted to know exactly where this line is because it it's not very clear it's kind of a rough terrain through here through the backyard but anyway I just thought I'd show that process and uh, now I'm going to go out and see if I can find these pins.